Yeah, you pick something else. After hours, Johnny has another another job. We sold our guest pass. There you go. All right, so we're rolling. Anytime you're ready, we're ready. All righty. Here we are at the 13th floor. We have Traveler with us today. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Uh, Traveler <laughs> comprised of Robert Ellis, who's tickling the ivories over there. Uh, we have Johnny Fritz and Corey Chisel. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. First question I have to ask, which is probably the obvious one, uh, was there any consideration to just going like the Crosby, Stills, and Nash route and going like Chisel, Fritz, Oof. and Ellis or something? Absolutely not. No? No, we, we originally tried to name, the, we wanted to name the band. We're like, we're like, we're the Highwaymen, you know? Right. But oh, we figured we'd call ourselves the Highway Guys. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that name didn't stick. That one kind of got um, you know, shut out by management pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. so, so how did this thing uh, come to be? Is it something that has been in the works for a while, or did it just kind of yeah. happen? It, it has been in the works for a while. We've been trying to make it happen for a couple of years, but we're busy. Right. You know, it's hard yep. to find uh, time to get together. But, um, but Robert and I have been writing together for a long time, and then, um, yeah, we we just figured the band wouldn't do anything without a very beautiful, beautiful man. Right. So we, we got Corey. Roped, oh. roped Corey into it. It's nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. and, and so the, the, you guys have an album out, uh, which is called Western Movies, and comprised of quite a few original songs. Are they written individually, or are you guys writing them together? It's a three-way. A three-way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really, is some of them are individuals, but for the most part, we write it exactly three. Right. It's right perfect. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's a pie chart split into, into three <laughs> slices. It really is. It's it's a it's a it's a cool thing. Uh, so the first song we're gonna hear is Hummingbird. Mm. What's the deal with that one? This might be our favorite, huh? This is our. It's the hit song. It's our. <laughs> it's, it's a hit. <laughs> it's our favorite. This one's like kind of. Uh, this like about this, uh, you know, like 57 maybe year old woman, yeah. maybe in front of you at the grocery store or the post office or something, you know, and she's kind of daydreaming. And these are like, it's like you're reading the thought bubbles floating above her head. Like, she's like, I want, I like policemen, I like firemen, <laughs> you know, I like, I like rental cars, I like the smell of a new car. I like debit cards. I like <laughs> I like cashback transactions. This lady's just like, screw it, I'm gonna try online dating. I'm gonna go back to my maiden name. You know, she likes the movie Thelma and Louise. Right. But she doesn't like the ending, so she changes it. This, right. is, this is her world. Cool. We're just like, this is your world, lady. This is definitely you know. <laughs> Alrighty, well let's give it a listen. Hummingbird, right. traveler. Send this one out to any women I've just recently found online dating in the late 50s. She won a police man with a big night stick. A man in uniform, make her heartbeat skip. She won a real fast car in overdrive. She won a fan law to fit to her life. She's swiping left and right, she double click that screen, she change her profile pic, she use her maiden name. Do -do 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 -do. She don't know all of the words, but she hums along, she's like a humming bird, she's like a favorite song. Do -do 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 -do. She get away with it. She 
Back here at the 13th floor with Traveler, we have Johnny Fritz, Corey Chisel, and Robert Ellis, and the rest of the band also showed up today, which is pretty exciting. Tell yeah. me about the other two guys. Oh man, the other two guys. These are like Houston's finest right yeah. here. Tank Lisenby. Um, There's Tank. There he is, still wandering in frame, <laughs> maybe. Um, and Joffrey Moeller. Yeah. These guys are monsters. Right. They can play anything and have been playing it for their entire lives, and it's, it really shows. They're incredible. We love them. Sounds like uh, Robert's getting ready to get into the seasonal mood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's always in a seasonal mood. I can imagine. So what, what have the live shows been like? Because well, I saw you guys last night, and it seemed pretty loose, but then yeah. it, it kind of got tight every once in a while. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we, we live in that, on that margin. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the whole point of this band is to uh, have something that's professional and fun and maybe people want to see but it's like is purely rooted in fun right and it's really only to have fun with that we've been we've been playing for 10 12 years you know and it's yeah. it's a grind you know <laughs> it's annoying and it gets old and there's just so many politics and stuff so to try and to you know just to make your band do well but for this project we've really just been focusing on on just having a good time and and the money and the money and the money yeah. which you know here will come one of these days <laughs> but I haven't seen it just around the bend I'm right. sure. yeah, yeah. yeah so the next song that we're going to hear nobody uh, nobody makes it out nobody makes it out yeah alright what's the story behind that one how did it come to this one was one you guys were working on right and then yeah Robert and I started writing this and it was missing good words and Johnny had them so um, we added that in there. I, was, I had some real serious FOMO. I didn't, I didn't want to get written out of this song, so I wrote, a, I wrote like 10 verses. They're like, oh, how about this? How about this? How about this? <laughs> trying to be like, please, I like this one. Don't write me out of it. <laughs> right. I, I made the cut. Alrighty, well, let's give it a listen.
jump off the cliff in the dark. I was willing, but she wasn't ready. The only tape in my car stuck on the tip of your tongue without speaking. Never going nowhere. When I was young, I would dream of leaving, but now I don't even care. Whoa, cause I know. All right, we're back here with Traveler. We've got uh, Johnny Fritz and Corey Chisel and Robert Ellis and everybody else around, hanging out at the 13th floor, playing a few songs. Um, is there, like, do you guys, the three of you in particular, have sep particular roles that you play within the songwriting thing and the whole? Yeah. How, how would you describe what each of the other guys does? Um, I, I, I can't write. I can't write melodies to save my life. I'm, I'm, I write the same song a hundred times over. Right. If, you, if you ever listen to my music, you're like, I thought I heard this one in the last track. It's right, right there. Right. But I do love lyrics. Song, and uh, It's a good song. Mm -hmm. so I write it over and over again. Yeah. Um, but Corey, Corey is Melody Man, writes hundreds of melodies, and he'll give them to me and Robert. And, and it's, kind of a, it's kind of like a Santa's workshop. Um, the uh, Corey Elf will make the melody and, and pass it off to the to, to Robert and I, the other little worker elves. And Robert will tear the song apart and rebuild it, and I'll kind of write the words. And and, and um, he'll it's it's really a collaborative thing. It's perfectly. Where do these split. melodies come from? Yeah, come that's from a great. I've been asking. That's a great question. <laughs> Good question. Where do they come from? Loneliness. Loneliness. But your phone is filled with hundreds. Oh, of in my them. phone, yeah. Yeah, your phone. <laughs> Seriously, the little voicemail app on on Corey's phone is almost full right. of, of. It's like a, it's a m mind worms, and then right. you know. Keeps you from losing something in case you. Yeah, and it's it's always fun in a crowded place to be. And you're a dad. It's isn't it? You yeah. said it's like sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation. Yeah, fear of disappearing if you don't offer the world anything valuable is. Gotcha. It's cool. It's really cool, but he just churns them out. It's really fun to just sit back. back. You're just like you're like a, in the outfield, like oh shit, just catch it and try to. <laughs> and then Robert throws in some some uh, he, playing. Yeah, he puts all the chords that none of us can play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big kid chords. <laughs> the big kid chords. Right? <laughs> all right, so we're gonna hear uh, the last thing is the title track. Western, uh, Western movies. movies. Yeah. What's the deal behind that one? It's a kid. Kind it's a, a kid song. It's, you know. A lot of good kids songs are really adult parent songs. Right. They're like songs you can trick your kids into liking so that you get to play them over and over. And it's also right. just true. We just like Western movies. Yeah. He has a really innocent, sweet melody that kind of, uh, it kind of begged to be a sweet, innocent song. Yeah. And we all really do love Western movies. So <laughs> it, made, it just kind of made sense. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for stopping thank you. by. Thanks it was so good much. fun, that's for sure. And I love the show. The album's sounding great. Oh, thank you. Thanks Carry on. <laughs> we will. Thank you. Thanks.
ten cups of coffee out of a tin cup and right before bed and sleeping on a blanket under the stars with a hat on my head good old western movies i am dreaming of riding away and playing cards with dark holiday Western 